So you've decided on medicine. You want to have the clearest and least stressful path to become a doctor. So you decided that you want to do a BSMD program. The problem is, BSMD programs are super competitive, many having an acceptance rate of less than 1%. So how do you stand out? These are the tips that help me get into not one, but two combined medical programs with a low SAT score. So if you want to find out how I did that, keep on watching. What's crackalackin? My name is Oria Fett and I am an incoming first year medical student at Howard University through the BSMD program. I have many more BSMD videos to come, but I also make videos about college as a pre-med as well as my medical school journey. So if you're interested in any of that, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. So I'm gonna start off with the more hard parts of your application and then finish off with the more soft components of your applications. So to get into a BSMD program statistics wise, you should aim to have at least a 1500 on the SAT or a 34 on the ACT. Having these sky high scores will give you more options when it comes to BSMD programs, so that way you're more likely to get into one since they are so competitive. However, for some BSMD programs, you can get away with a 1400 on the SAT or a 32 on the ACT to have a pretty good shot. So overall, you should try and get at least 95th percentile on your standardized tests because schools are looking for the best of the best when it comes to BSMD programs. I personally only got a 1350 on the SAT, which was 94th percentile, I believe, so I was a little I was a little behind. Also, on the ACT, I think I got about a 29 composite, but my super score was a 30. So even though when it came to standardized tests, my scores were not as up there as other BSMD applicants, I was still able to get into the programs because of other components of my application. When it comes to your GPA, for your high school cumulative GPA, you should try to have at least a 3.8 GPA to have a good shot to get into the BSMD programs. And it is important to show that you are consistently getting good grades in your science classes, especially because it shows that you can handle the material that comes with being a pre-med and with being a doctor. For a GPA absolute minimum to apply, I would say 3.5 maybe could get you in the door for some programs, but for most you should get at least a 3.8 GPA, unweighted. Personally, I had a 3.76 unweighted GPA in high school and I only got one B in a science class. And my weighted GPA, I believe, was a 4.38. Try and aim for something like a 4.5 or higher. In addition, many BSMD programs require that you take SAT subject tests as well. I personally took the biology ecology one and the math two exam. But as for SAT subject tests, I do recommend that you take one of the biology, either the molecular one or the ecology one, the math two, and also chemistry, if you can. A comfortable score for the SAT subject test would probably be a 780, but you should try to get at least 720 on them. And as for me, my SAT subject test scores were, they were not so hot. And for your class rank, this depends on the specific programs you're applying to, as well as what type of high school you went to. Some BSMD programs require you to be in the top 5% to apply, while other BSMD programs require you to be in the top 10% to apply. And other programs don't even have a class rank requirement at all. The importance of class rank varies depending on what type of high school you went to. For example, if you went to a more prestigious school like a magnet school or a very competitive public high school like I went to, you might need to be more in the top 10% since there are more students who are high achieving at that school. However, if you went to high school in an urban area or a rural area, where students aren't achieving as highly, you might need to be the valedictorian or top 1%. But if you go to a regular, regular high school, maybe top 5% is where you need to be. Personally, like I said, I went to a more competitive public high school and I was not in the top 10% actually, but I was in the top 15%. All in all, the statistics you need highly vary depending on what type of BSND programs at what specific schools you want to apply to. 
because different schools have different requirements. So overall, statistics wise, I I don't know why I'm here, but I'm here, so thank God. So when it comes to academics, as in which classes you're choosing to take, it is important that you show interest in STEM classes, especially the sciences. And to do this, challenge yourself. For those STEM classes, take those AP classes, take those honors classes, take those IB classes, whatever your school offers, challenge yourself, especially in the STEM areas. But do make sure you challenge yourself all around so that way you can get the highest weighted GPA possible. But it's important that you show, oh, hey, I can do well in these science courses. I'm strong in these science areas and I'm prepared to go through college a little more quickly as a pre-med. And another thing with academics is when it comes to letters of recommendations, build relationships with your teachers, especially those science teachers. This way your teachers will be able to truly vouch for you on those letters of recommendation and truly highlight your abilities as a student. Pro tip, if you don't do so well in one of your science classes, but you've built a relationship with the teacher who taught it, you can ask that teacher for a letter of recommendation. That way you can say, maybe you gotta be in the class. Your teacher can say, hey, even though she didn't get an A in this class, she still had a great work ethic and really pushed herself and worked hard to do her best in this class. And she showed improvement throughout the entire year. I actually got a B in chemistry in high school, but having my chemistry teacher write a letter of recommendation for me probably helped the admission committees to overlook that a little bit. Now for the extracurriculars. This is where you set yourself apart from all the other applicants. Probably one of the most important tips when it comes to the extracurriculars is that you have some that are related to medicine and STEM. That way the people who are selecting the BSMD applicants can know, hey, this person's actually thought this through. When a school accepts you into their BSMD program, they're making an investment. So they don't want to make an investment and then have that person say, mm, I don't want to be a doctor anymore. They want to know that, hey, this person for sure wants to be a doctor, has no other career in mind, and this is what they're going to do. When you do extracurriculars that are related to medicine, it shows that you have a drive and passion behind you for that field. So some examples of ways that you can get exposure to the medical field to show that you really have a passion for it is by doing internships, research, shadowing. I suggest you shadow maybe two to three different specialties as well as joining some clubs at your school that are related to medicine or science, such as biology club, anatomy club if you guys have one, Doctors Without Borders, Future Doctor Organization. I know that there are summer programs for high schoolers related to medicine. Honestly, just reach out to your school counselor and find out what your school has to offer. And if they don't have anything to offer, start a club of your own. And starting a club of your own also ties into leadership. Try to get a leadership position in one of the clubs you're in, whether that just be your sports team or a club that you made or whatever it is. This way you can show your commitment and initiative, which are qualities that doctors need to have. Another extracurricular that is an important feature in your BSMD application is community service. This way you can show how you actually care about helping people in the community. Everybody who wants to be a doctor wants to help people. But how many of you are actually helping people? For combined medical programs, I suggest you try and get a volunteer position in a hospital. That way, not only are you knocking off community service, but you're also getting exposure to the field. But you don't necessarily have to volunteer in a hospital, but just make sure you're going out into the community and touching people's lives. And then another extracurricular that you should try and have in there is something that sets you apart from everyone else. Something that makes you unique. That outside passion gives them something to remember you by. This could be a sport you play, an instrument you play, or whatever really can set you apart from the rest. And try and choose something that you're very committed to so that way you can show you have passions outside of sciences. And another thing with your extracurriculars is that it's important that you show commitment to them, like I mentioned earlier. It looks better if you're spending 20 hours a week doing a sport every single day for four years of high school than it does if you're trying this thing out at freshman year, quitting it, trying this out sophomore year, quitting it, and just keep quitting and quitting and quitting 
rather than actually going through with anything. And when you show commitment, you show passion. So what extracurriculars did I do? Off the top of my head, I know that I worked in a laboratory program that my school system had where I did a biotechnology class my senior year. So I was able to get a lot of hands-on experience in the lab and with STEM. And my entire sophomore year of high school, I was part of a research program that my school had where I researched a topic related to breast cancer. Notice how that's showing my interest in medicine from the jump. And if I'm being honest, those were really my only healthcare related experiences in high school. But the thing that I showed the largest commitment to in high school was cheerleading. I cheered all four years of high school for six seasons and I was the captain my senior year. Not only was that showing my commitment to the sport, but it was also something that set me apart from a lot of the other applicants because most of the people who are applying for BSMD programs were not cheerleaders in high school. So that extracurricular alone knocked off leadership, commitment, as well as being unique from other applicants for me. I also had a lot of community service hours. The main thing I did was volunteer with my church's children's ministry, and I had over 500 community service hours from that alone. And I also participated in a lot of different community service projects that I'm not going to go into, but the church one is the one that I was most committed to. In high school, I was also a part of other clubs such as the Fashion and Design Club, the Black Student Union, National Honor Society, African Students Association, and something else. There, there were other things, but I don't remember them. High school was a long time ago. Overall, through your extracurriculars, try and show your commitment to medicine, your passion for medicine, as well as your passion for other things. And now for the softer components of your application. So I'm going to start off with your essays and supplementals. In your common app essay that goes to every school, no matter what programs you're applying for, as well as your supplementals, try to display traits that doctors should have. In your overall common app, you can be a little more subtle with it, but still show those qualities. For example, you can try to show that you're personable, a problem solver, curious, intellectual, compassionate, a leader, have good communication skills, caring, show your resilience, your self-initiative, etc. There's probably some website online that can tell you a bunch of traits doctors should have and you can just try and display those through your application. And this tip is specifically for your supplementals rather than your common app essay, but try to cater your responses to that specific school. Research both the undergraduate institutions and the medical school's mission statements. For example, my undergraduate institution is all about truth and service, and my medical school institution is all about serving the underserved. So where does that overlap? Service. So that's where I really try to emphasize my application. Not only are you trying to say that you're a good fit to be a doctor, but you need to show that you're a good fit for their specific program. That's the tip nobody ever wants to tell you. I'm not gonna tell you exactly how to write a BSMD essay step by step because I want it to be original for you. I don't want your essay to be a replica of mine, but what you really need to know is to display those core attributes. Let me pull up what my essays were about so I can tell you the topic. So for my common app essay, I wrote about my experience going to Nigeria and how that helped me build resilience and self-initiative. And for my BSMD essay for Howard specifically, I wrote about the incident at my high school. Hey y'all, I didn't want to give information that was too identifying, but just for more context, there was a murder involved in this incident and I was friends with a murderer. But yeah, I wrote about that and how it influenced my outlook on mental health and how it drove me to want to pursue a career in psychiatry at the time. And I catered my essay to this specific institution by saying, hey, this school is in an urban area and there are a lot of black people in this area and how black people are less comfortable with the topic of mental health and seeking treatment for it and how I want to help serve that specific community. And another thing that I did in that essay that I liked was that I focused on a specific specialty. This way I was able to show my developed interest in medicine. So rather than just saying, hey, I wanna be a doctor, I say this is exactly where I want to go with my career. That's just another way to show how focused you are on medicine. And the last hurdle to jump when trying to get into a BSMD program is usually the interview. Congratulations, your stats, extracurriculars, and essays 
got you in the door to become part of the BSMD program. Now you just have to showcase who you are and why you should be in that program. Okay, when you first get to the interview, be sure that you're coming in early. Don't come late. That's a very bad look. When you come early, it shows that you're organized, you're taking this seriously, you're prepared, and you're ready for whatever comes at you. That's how you want to appear to the admissions committee. When you get to the interview, don't be too intimidated because now you guys are on an equal playing field with all the other applicants. A lot of interviewing comes with preparation. You have to know your application inside and out. Know everything that you put on there because they are going to ask you about it. Also, try and look on Reddit or, what was that website I used? College Confidential and other websites about what the interview process is like and what questions are asked. That way you can prepare in advance and have as few surprises as possible. You need to know what you're gonna be asked and know the answers. Also, make sure that you have maybe four or five questions prepared for your interviewers. You can ask about the school, you can ask about um, programs that the school offers, what life is like on campus, what a typical day for them is like, what they do, current events that are going on at this school. Try and show your interest in that school through asking questions. Also, if there are any weak points in your application, be prepared not to defend them, but to take responsibility for them and show how much you've grown. Part of being a leader is taking responsibility when you make mistakes. So rather than blaming it on your teacher or saying, oh, the teacher was mean to me, they didn't like me, you need to own up and show how you've grown from the situation. One major concern when it comes to BSMD programs is that you're not gonna be mature enough when you get to the field. But you need to show your maturity as you are in the interview. And my biggest interview tip is to be personable. The entire time. You do not know when you are being observed. You don't know when you're being graded, in a sense. You want people to be comfortable around you and open with you and enjoy your presence. At the end of the day, most medical schools want people, not just robots. So you need to display your humanity so that way in the future you can connect with your patients. So be sure to smile, be sure that you've practiced how you're gonna answer questions. Overall, just, just be good vibes, be good vibes. I hope this video was informative and helpful for you. I hope it eased your nerves a little bit. Remember, no matter what, anything is possible. And remember that I always believe in you. Feel free to email me if you have any questions. My email is in the description. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and turn on your post notifications because I have some more BSMD content coming up soon. If you made it to this point in the video, comment future doctor. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much and adios.